Hi, this is Carrie from Wandering Angel Studio, and you're probably looking at my desk and going, what in the world? Well, this is going to be a different kind of video, folks, because instead of doing paper crafting, I'm looking at my Timu haul right here. Yes, I jumped on the Timu bandwagon, so I'm going to show you all what I got. I spent about $50. Um, if you, I, I bought a... a bathroom cleaner that has a pole on it it's a brush that was a little over seven dollars so if you take that away i spent about 43 dollars and i got all this crafting goodness so let's get started and go through some of this and i'll show you what i got and if i remember the price i'll let you know but just know that with a couple of exceptions i didn't pay more than two dollars for what I got here, so for, for per item, I should say. So let's get started. Okay, I got these three tapes here. I'm gonna lay them out. They're called a uh, masking tape. They're actually a, like a washi tape, but if you turn them over, they've got a coating on the back or a piece of paper on the back, I should say, that you can peel off and then you can cut this ever how length you want. Um, I would say it's about 12 inches. Let's measure. Let's see. Actually, it's about about 14 inches, I guess. So it's a, it's a pretty good size. I got this one that has like just nature stuff on it. This one, of course, has the moon phase. I thought that was especially cool. And then this one is, um, again, nature phase. So I really like those. I think I paid 98 cents a piece for those. So those were really a good buy. This is the only die cut that I got. Um, I haven't cut it yet. I have used other dies from China. Most of this stuff comes from China, by the way. Um, so I'm not, uh, I'm not at all uh, concerned about how, uh, how this die is gonna cut because I've used, like I said, I've used dies from China before and had stunning results, so I'm not worried. But this is a floral, and I'll try and remember to post a picture of it on my Facebook page so you can see it when it's cut, and you can see the quality there. One quick note before we go any further, I just wanted to let you know that if you order from Timu, um, because most of this stuff is coming from overseas, it takes about 10 days from the time you order to get it. Um, but here's the good thing. If for some reason they think it's going to be a little late, they'll credit your account or sometimes they stick in special gifts with your order. In my case, they credited my account five bucks. So I'm already five bucks to the good. Also, the other thing you need to know is this is free shipping, folks. You don't pay a dime for shipping. So even though you have to wait about 10 days to get it, it's worth the wait. Okay, and I'm going to show you more. So let's start with this package here. I left most of this in the package because it's just easier to go through it that way. This is pictures of women, as you can see, period women. Okay, and again, these are stickers. So the stickers, I hope you can see through this. The stickers are actually um, a vellum type of sticker. Let me see if I can get this off to show you. I have zero fingernails, so it's a little hard for me. I can't do that. But as you can see, there are all kinds of stickers. You have a few repeats in here of each one. And these are tremendous for using in, in journals, art journals and that kind of thing, or to use on cards. I mean, they're just, they're just fabulous. And if I'm not mistaken, there are 50 pieces here. And again, I didn't pay more than a couple of bucks for a lot of this stuff. So that's just a beautiful thing. Okay, roll a trim. I think I paid $2.38 for this. So, you know, just a little over $2, but that's what it looks like. It's gonna be a great trim to dye if I wanna dye it a color using my inks. Um, and it's also a great um, trim to put to put a piece of ribbon over. So say I put this down like this and then I put a piece of satin ribbon over it or whatever. And it's also gonna make really good bows. It's about an inch wide, just so you get um, get an idea. And there's probably 10 yards on here, maybe 15. There's a lot. Um, and here again, I paid like $2.38 for that, okay. 
These are stickers. And I'll, I'll open this so you can see it. Again, lots of different stickers here. And I'm just going to pull randomly, you know, random pages. There's a, a lady. And these also have the back on them. So you just peel this off and stick them down. Again, great for decoupage. Great for art journals, which is what I bought it for. This is my favorite. This is what convinced me to buy this. Is this piece right here. Because I have some scrapbook paper that has corsets and, and women from the Edwardian era. Which is about this time period. So I can mix these stickers in on a journal page. Or, um, you know... On, an, on another page or even in a project. And real quick, I'll show you this. Okay, this is a project usually mostly Tim Holtz stuff. But if you see what I mean, that's my style is that, that grungy um, period look. And so it's gonna be real, use, real easy to use these stickers and, and have a lot of fun with those. So let's put those off to the side. And I think there's 20 pieces here. Okay, next up, I was really, really thrilled with this. Um, this is These are four by six cards. They come with this little belly band on them. Now, the cool thing about the belly band is that you can actually use that in a project if you want to. Let me see if I can get that pulled up a little bit so you can see the paper. Well, maybe not. Pull it off. Oh. <laughs> It doesn't want to go, folks. Okay, well, I can flip through it and show you some of the paper. But you see the back of this? It's vellum, and th that would be great in an art journal. Again, you can decoupage that down, so don't throw stuff like that away because you can use it. But here, hopefully you can see some of the designs in it. Um, and I think there's 100 sheets here, and like I said, these are 4 by 6 Great to mount photos on. In a journal, if you use this kind of paper and you like it, it is not double-sided. It's just single-sided. So, and uh, they're repeat designs, which I love because I can use these in my art journals. White on the back of these pages. So, but that's, like I said, that's 100 pieces there for less than $2. How cool is that? That's just crazy. The the prices are just, just amazing. Um, and before you ask, yes, I... Uh, going to order from them again. I'm tickled to death and I will um that I will be placing that order tomorrow as a matter of fact. Okay. These are pretty cool. These are stickers and as you can see they're Halloween related if I can get them off. Different potion stickers. There's magic potion. Um some of the de designs as you can see are really small nightshade uh Ren Venom Poison. Yeah, there you go. So there's a lot of different stickers in here, a whole bunch. I won't go through them all. Bone Powder. That's another cool one I like. Uh, toad Flax. <laughs> so these would be great in Halloween projects, and I just cannot wait. I've got a, I've got a, a, a sticker tape that I bought that is Halloween themed, and I'll show you that right now, as a matter of fact. I was going to go through the tape last because there's, there's a lot of it. They bill it as washi tape, but it's actually tape. Uh, it's actually sticker tape because it's got uh, a white background and you have to peel the white background off. But this is the one, I think. Let me No, this is it over here. And as you can see, I have no fingernails. So when I was peeling it off to get to this black part, uh, excuse me, to get to this white part here, um, I tore the paper. But that's okay. I can still use it. You know, I, I don't throw stuff like that out. But anyway, you can see pelvis bone. It's got various and sundry uh, different photos of, of body parts. It starts to repeat right there and then goes on down the line. And I don't know how many yards are on here. Let me look. Uh, let me wind this back up real quick. But it's, it's a good thickness. I mean, in terms of how much you get... I, th I think it's worth the money, and I, I don't think I paid um, like a dollar and a half for this for this roll. And this is two inches wide. I, I got some really wide uh, washi tape here. This is lots of old ads, and again, I, I see I tore the background paper on it. 
But let me give you a, a look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Is that not cool? Now you can use it as one big piece of tape or you can cut it apart. And this is three inches wide now. So I got this for a little over $2 and it's three inches wide. Is that not cool? And there's that sticker back. So like I said, you can cut these little tiny ads apart. Hopefully this is showing up in the camera. Um, little tiny ads apart and use them individually or you can just cut the whole sheet and put it down in your art journal or on your project or whatever you're, you're gonna use it for. So I thought that was really cool. Two biggies here and then I'll get to the little stuff. Let me move that over there and all the washi tape because I, I got a lot of washi tape. Okay, this is washi tape. Um, beautiful box, beautiful box. And with the exception of this right here, you can use this box, folks. It's a nice cardboard, and you can use it in an art journal. Um, everything but this and this, you can use this in an art journal. I thought that was, I thought that was just gorgeous, just, just gorgeous. Okay, washi tape. Look, look at this. Look at this. This was six ninety eight. Six ninety eight. That's all. Um, I think there are probably. 25 rolls in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are at least 20 rolls in here. Um, I believe this is true washi. Let me let me peel. I think I peeled this one up. Yeah, this is true washi, which means there's no backing on it. The sticky part is right on here, so you don't have to peel a backing off of it. But look, 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 look. And this is slightly translucent, so you can almost see through it if you put it down on something. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I just love it. I just love it. I'm trying to find where the pattern repeats and I don't know if it does, but um, again, well worth the money. $6.98 for this entire box. Um, if I were to go and buy washi tape at the washi tape shop online or to go to Michael's or someplace and buy washi tape, I would pay every bit of 20 bucks for this many rolls of washi tape. Um, it just, it's its crazy. And I mean, look at this. These are beautiful, beautiful rolls of washi tape. You don't get very much on some of them, but I'm okay with that because again, you know, $6.98, I'm not complaining for $6.98. That one's got foil on it. Look at that. I'm just so excited. I can't believe that they can sell these things for this price with free shipping and it just it just boggles my mind, folks. Just just boggles my mind. Okay. More washi tape. I know I was gonna get to this later, but both these boxes are good size. Okay. Look, there you go. More washi tape. Again, there's about 20 rolls in here. I don't think it says. And uh, I haven't pulled it up online to tell you, but this was this was $4.98. For, for all this washi tape. Again, if I went to buy this somewhere, especially these old fashioned prints like this, yeah, it would cost me some cash. Uh, it would be way more than $3.98, I can tell you that. But look at there. And and it again, this is real washi. It's got the sticky on the back here. So great stuff. I'm really, really pleased with that. And there's right much on the roll too. So that's really cool. Um, this one is like little little tags little signs and sayings. So lots of lots of washi tape here, some nice solid colors that you can use uh, and blend with other things. Here's a travel one. Let me see if I can get this out. Yeah, okay. Here's a travel one, which is really kind of cool. I don't know where this starts. Trust me when I tell you this stuff sticks. <laughs> a lot of washi tape you have to use glue with. I don't think that's gonna be an issue here. Look at there. Isn't that pretty? I just think it's so cool. I am ready to craft and make uh, art, like I showed you earlier, with this stuff. It's amazing. You you do have some little, you know, these are little teeny tiny thin quarter inch things. They're still cool because I will use even the quarter inch pieces. So that's great stuff. This is, by the way, is called Memories of the Old City. Um, and so if you're looking for this particular set, that's what it's called. But you can just search craft supplies and we'll go on and on and it'll give you stuff and you'll ooh and ah and, 
and just want to buy everything right now. By the way, the other thing I need to let you know is that Timu did not sponsor me. They reached out to a bunch of crafters that have like thousands of people that watch their channel. Um, so my opinion is unsolicited. They did not reach out to me. This is an honest review of all the products. Okay, this is a burlap trim. And I guess there's probably 10 or 20 yards on here, but isn't that pretty? It's um, It looks like it would take ink pretty easily, and I really like it. So it does smell like burlap, by the way. Burlap has an odor all of its own, and, and it does smell like burlap. But I'm sure the odor will dissipate once you work with it. You know, you get it out in the open. Okay, more paper. Here we go. There's at least 100 sheets here, I'm thinking. This is a little bit smaller. This is like a three by five. Um, and this is open, so I can, oops, let's turn it right side up. So I can flip through it pretty good for you. Um, but again, repeats of the paper. Hopefully you can see this. So you've got a couple of pieces of each design. And again, there's 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 easily 100 sheets here. I know, I know I did not pay more than $2 for this. Isn't that crazy? So all kinds of really cool paper that you can use in scrapbooks, that you can use in your art journals, that you can use in your projects. Great stuff. Again, great stuff. And, and I will order some more of this because that's really, that's really cool stuff. Okay, these are little stickers. If I can figure out how to get them open. I had them open earlier, there we go, okay. Great stickers. Remember, we're not finished yet. We've still got more haul to do. Okay, these are just stickers of little, you know, various and sundry things, as you can see, ads. That's an old newspaper print, a ship. And these have got the paper on the, let's turn him right side up. Um, these have got the paper on the back of them. So these are like stickers. You just peel and stick. There's a couple of oversized ones, at least one. There's the other one. So peel and stick. Again, great stuff for art journals and projects. Guys, I'm going to have so much fun. I just don't know where to begin. I can tell you, it's just crazy. Okay, I'll just put those aside. Okay. More paper. I just love this antique looking paper because I like to use Tim Holtz paper. The problem is his old paper pads, the big 12 by 12s, are going away. So unless you get them now, they'll, they'll be gone in a few months or maybe even six or eight months because they're not being made anymore. But I love that kind of paper. And this is that kind of paper. Okay, so we've got letters and prints and again you get two of each page not gonna go through all of them but how cool is that the paper just to let you know the paper is a little bit heavier than like copy paper or paper you would use in your printer so it's um this is a little bit thinner it's about 30 or 40 pounds so it's not a it's not a um a lightweight cardstock if you will but it's still perfect for cutting up for journals and that kind of thing. Not the least bit disappointed in this. Now, let me put this aside for a minute. This is what the package looks like, the cover that you slide the pages into. Look at that. You can use that in an art journal. You can't use the back unless you cover it with paper, but you could cover this with a piece of paper and use it in an art journal. It just That just blows me away. It's like even the packaging is something that you can use. Amazing stuff. Amazing. I was dancing up and down when that little package showed up at my door. Okay. Washi tape. Washi tape. A lot of this is stickers. Um, and then I'll do these little pieces here because these are really cute. This is one of the last paper pieces. These things are the devil to get out. There we go, okay. These are tiny little stamps. Again, they're stickers, so they got the sticky stuff on the back. 
But you can see them. Look at all the detail in them. Isn't that just the coolest thing? And this was the nature one, obviously, with the butterflies and all the plants. But how many times have you really wanted a type of stamp, like a postage stamp, to put on and didn't have anything that was really pretty? Yeah, okay, well, here you go. Um, again, I, I paid less than a dollar for these. So I think it was like 98 cents for the little box. And there's 20 or 30 pieces in here. I liked it so much when I saw it online that I actually bought two of them so they're exactly the same because again I just loved it and I love the the concept of the stamp okay now the washi tape this is these were individual uh, some of them I paid as little as 98 cents for some of them I paid a dollar 98 for this is two inches look at this crazy huh this is a sticker type washi tape so you can cut this in pieces and put it in an art journal beautiful stuff just beautiful stuff uh, it's got a um, a rice paper type of feel to it so it's a thinner washi tape I wouldn't put it over something that's dark um, you know like a dark shape or something because you'd probably be able to see through it this is this is one of my favorites this is tickets how cool are they so you can actually cut through this and use these tickets individually or lay them out and put them in your art journal. Real tickled. I'll be ordering that again. And there's right much on this roll. Look at that. So, again, didn't pay more than $2 for any of these. These are really something else. These have got a, a clear backing on them. So, they're stickers, okay? So, you have to peel that backing off. Not going to do it now. But look at these. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. And you can use this on anything. I mean, just think about all the stuff you could use it on. You can cut these apart, or you can use it as a whole roll. Um, because it's see-through, you'll be able to, you know, the, the, the images aren't see-through, but the tape itself is see-through. So, you know, be mindful of that when you when you use it in a project. But I just thought that was so awesome. And I have two more of these that are clear. So let me see if I can get my hands on them. There we go. Okay. This one is butterflies, toadstools, etc., etc., etc. Very pretty. Very brightly colored. Just wonderful stuff. Okay. We have three more rolls here. And that'll be the end of the stash. Okay, this one, let me see. Have I gotten this one open yet? Nope. Let me see if I can open it for you. Okay. And this is more teddy bears and lace and that kind of thing. Really cute, really cute, really cute stuff. I keep rolling it off camera here. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a re... This is the repeat, so it's that long. I hope the camera's getting all of it. So, and again, lots on the roll. There, These these rolls, they don't skim. You know, most washi tape, you're not going to get a whole lot, especially if you order from, like, the washi tape shop. You're not going to get a lot. Well, here you do. You you get a good amount for what you, you want to use it for. Okay. These two, this is another one of my favorites. This is old ads. And again, this has the tape on the back of it the, that you just peel off, the little piece of paper. But these are ads. You can cut these apart. You can use them as they are. Great stuff here. Just just great stuff. And the type, this type of, of washi tape that's old ads and that kind of thing, again, right up my alley because I love all this grungy, old-timey looking stuff. It just, you know, sets my imagination ablaze. This is one of my favorites, and I'll be ordering this again, too. This is... I got it. I got it hung up. Again, no fingernails, so I had to peel. But this is tickets. See where I peeled that one off the backing? <laughs> Let me put that back down. This is tickets. They're all exactly the same. Uh, same number and everything. But how cool is that? You could use that on anything. That would be a great accent piece in an art journal. So that is my Timu haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, lots of stuff. I got lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, y'all. Let's just throw it all in here. Lots of stuff. 
and that was for like 43 bucks. So if you are into craft supplies and into crafting and you want to do Timu, go for it. It'll be worth the money, I promise you. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day, folks, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.